Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyle. I make videos about cameras, tech, and all that good stuff. Today we are going to talk about the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4 lens for the Sony a6000 series of cameras. Okay, if you guys see me looking down over here, I got some notes on my laptop. We got the lens, the box, all that good stuff. Let's just jump into it. So first things first is TT Artisan, no S on the end, like Seven Artisans, which is a completely different company. I had to do my own research about this. I thought they were the same company at first. It's a little confusing, but TT Artisan has been around for maybe a year or two. Uh, I checked their Instagram out. They've been posting photos since like last December. Seems like they make Leica lenses. They also make lenses like this one, which are for Sony E-mount APS-C, which is great. So it's specifically made for the A6000 series of cameras, as well as Micro Four Thirds, Canon EFM-M mount, and i um, forgetting the other one. Oh, and Fuji X mount. So this lens in particular, you can get for four different mounts so that's pretty cool. Also, full disclosure, they sent me this lens, TT Artisan, that is, sent me this lens for free, but they have no input over this video. I could trash it if I want to, but I'm not gonna do that because I really enjoy this lens, so let's talk more about it. So here is the box. It's a two-tone box. It has a picture of the lens on it, which is pretty nice. It's like a black and gray box. Uh, actually, pretty cool um, little pamphlet in here, like a little pam uh, paper pamphlet. Um, it's in another language, but it's also in English. So it's uh, pretty helpful. It tells you how to turn the um, option off in your camera where you can use manual lenses. So the packaging is really nice. It was cool to see something different rather than the usual. And then let's talk about the lens build quality. So the lens, here it is right here. It's a little guy, is all metal, uh, it's all black, and it is quite nice, I must say. They have a little diagram of the lens inner um, workings on there. If you're into that sort of thing, I know different people like to see the actual construction of the lens. I myself have not reached that level of nerddom yet. Maybe I will one day, but if you know about the inner working of lenses and stuff like that, maybe comment down below and let me know how much of a noob wow. I am. The aperture ring is on the end of the lens and as you hear, it is clicked. So that is a bad thing for video shooters, but something that's uh, welcome for me, which I've never owned a lens with a clicked aperture ring. And the reason it's bad for video shooters is if it has hard stops when you're changing aperture, you will see the hard stops of light when you're shooting video. Then the focus ring, uh, the focus distance and everything is on the inner part of the lens. So. That's not something that's normally done. Normally it's flipped, it's reversed. The aperture would be on the inside and the focusing ring would be on the outside. In my opinion, that's not too much of a problem with a lens like this. I'm usually taking my time taking photos, but for somebody who would have like huge fingers or hands, that may be a problem. But yeah, I think the overall build quality of this TT Artisan lens, which is the first lens I've ever gotten from them or used from them, I think is really great. It's really solid. It's an attractive lens. When you are using the focusing ring, the inner barrel does extend a little bit as you see it go up there, down here. It doesn't really extend all that much, but just something to point out for you guys. As far as the price, this is also comes into the great job is it $73 on Amazon as of filming this video. Now what's interesting about that is, as you guys may or may not know, I've done videos on other 35 millimeter, which is this focal length, manual lenses um, on this channel. I did three of them in one video. It's like a lenses under $100 video. I will link that above and below if you guys haven't seen that. So there are a lot of lenses in this price range um, 35 millimeters that have a fast aperture. This is an f 1.4 lens, which is super fast, great bokeh and all that that we'll get into. But I'm gonna put a list on the screen right now of lenses that I've tested on this channel um, that are comparable to this lens. 
This lens really falls into a great sweet spot where it's really fast. It's not the fastest that I've tested. I just did a video on uh, seven artisans, 35 millimeter F 1.2. This is an F 1.4 uh, 35 millimeter and it sits at $73. Whereas other ones that aren't as fast are cheaper or sometimes the same price or more expensive. And then the seven artisans F 1.2 is a lot more expensive, $50 more expensive at 120 bucks. So this lens is really interesting because it's really fast and it's really at the perfect price point in my opinion. And then we'll get about its performance in a little bit. Okay, so real quick before we go into photo examples shot with this lens, let's talk about like its weight, minimum focusing distance, yada yada. It weighs 180 grams or 6.3 ounces for us Americans. It's all metal. It doesn't feel like it weighs a ton and it's really a great size when it's on the A6000. You could fit it in like your coat pocket during the winter or a really small bag. It's not a big package. It just got darker. I don't normally film above ground. I'm usually in my basement so I'm like, Come back, son, and there it is. So let's continue. The filter thread is 39 millimeters, if you guys can see that there. Uh, it's an odd measurement for filter threads, and then they have this really cool uh, screw-on lens cap, which is also all metal, so you screw it on like so, and then there you have it. So it's not going to fall off at all. Also, this lens has a 28 centimeter or nine inches minimum focusing distance, which in my opinion is really awesome. You guys may be familiar now, but I really like getting up close and personal with objects or even people or my pets and things like that. So having a short minimum focusing distance is awesome. All right, so with all of that said about the lens, build quality, price, all of those different things, let's jump into some photo examples and let me know what you think of the photos. Okay, so hopefully you guys enjoyed all those photo examples. I really enjoyed my time shooting with this lens and I'm still shooting with this lens even after I got everything that I would need for the video and everything like that. It's super, super duper sharp, especially for a sub $100 lens. I really was impressed with how sharp the images came out. Now, as always, shooting at f1.4 on, you know, or the lowest aperture you can go on lenses like this, you're gonna have a bit of softness. I mean, they're not, you know, perfectly engineered like that, but at f2, f2.8, it's incredibly sharp. I felt like I was shooting a lot of things in the daytime at least at f2, which was really impressing me through and through. 
out of all of the lenses that I listed earlier, uh, this is definitely the sharpest 35 millimeter manual lens that I've ever used. So I gotta give props to TT Artisan for really kind of just bursting into the scene, coming out with a great 35 millimeter lens for the crop sensor Sony cameras. So with the sharpness being as good as it is, and then being able to go down to f1.4, I think the price is great for this lens, 73 bucks. As far as like chromatic aberration, I feel like that's pretty controlled on this. And then flaring is controlled on it as well. So I feel like the overall construction engineering of this lens is like a step above some of the other manual lenses that I've taken a look at. Now this lens isn't perfect by any means. It does have some issues. Um, it has a little bit of barrel distortion and then vignetting at times, which other manual lenses suffer from those things. So it's not like a total surprise or anything like that, but it was something that I, you know, immediately noticed. And let's talk about character of this lens real quick. And I wanna compare it, and I know I've been doing this probably the whole video, but to the Seven Artisans 35 millimeter F1.2. So the TT Artisans is a little more modern as far as the image character. And what I mean by that is it's like, it's more clean. Uh, there's not like a lot of swirly, dreamy bokeh going on. It's more modern. That's really the best way I can describe it. It's more clean, more modern. Looks like it may have come from, you know, a Sony lens or something like that. Whereas the Seven Artisans 35 millimeter f1.2 it, it really feels like a vintage lens. I just wanted to bring that up because I feel like sometimes people confuse manual lenses with vintage lenses and that's not the case, especially, you know, these are lenses that have been made, you know, recently in time. They're not something from 30 years ago or something like that. Okay, but with all of that said, I think that about wraps it up for the review of the TT Artisan 35 millimeter F 1.4. It's my first lens foray into TT Artisan, and I gotta say, I'm thoroughly impressed between you know the packaging, the lens build quality, and then the sharpness of this little puppy is top notch. Links to any lens that I mentioned or the list that I provided will be in the description. They're all affiliate links, so it helps me out if you guys go through them, but as always, find the gear where it's cheapest for you. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.